Oh my god. It's not a mirage. We're here at the D-pad, and I'm Rick. And I'm Peter. And this is Pokemon Legends Arceus, where we are about to fight Spaceman. Uh, time... Yes, Spaceman. We Spaceman. already fought We have Time, time man. man. Now we're fighting Spaceman. Oh, let's do it. I'm ready to fight. I even have Dialga out front. Hey, Joanne, let's meet tomorrow together. Oh, I thought he was saying, like, hey, tomorrow, let's meet up. As opposed to, let's meet tomorrow together. Right. Like, we're we're going to be a, a, a team for this. So saying you've gotten the Diamond Clan, it means you, you hope you'll both stay safe. Hmm, perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We're sworn to whatever we can, so I don't need it. Joanne, Brad, he's waiting for people. Product time space for a Pokemon. <laughs> Remember, this is my voice. I, I definitely don't have a draw. I don't know. I'm from I'm from somewhere proper. Proper. Quite proper. Proper. proper, proper. <laughs> we learned recently that he's actually got like a pretty thick southern accent. Or at least like a country bumpkin kind of sounding thing going on more than more than like a thick southern accent. Sarah's making fun of our Oh. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Did you just blow up that temple? I think we did. The whole temple is going Super Saiyan? You blasted the top off of it. I was kind of expecting a... Which is good, because okay. this is how you find oh. the the spear pillars in the future. That's true, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's all fucked up by that point. Now so you know why. that temple why. got destroyed. I thought that for a second there, I was like, hey, that's weird that we threw an Ultra Ball. We were supposed to be throwing our Origin Ore. It's like, right now we're... No, no, you're getting oh, here we go. Battle. Uh, we're about to fight fucking Pegasus Dialga. Or, or Palkia. Palkiegasus. Palkiegasus. Oh, my He's God. still only four limbs, so no arms anymore. What the hell? My little Palkia. I think this is a... Oh, shit. What am I even throwing here? Space bombs. Whoa! Oh my god. What other what else would you throw? You know you know what if you had chosen Pearl you would be throwing right now? Time bombs. Time bombs. Time bombs. Oh boy. You're gonna have to remember all of the mechanics from these battles. Oop, oh, shit. Uh, cause you do not heal. You you just get progressively more and more hurt. Oh, oh, that wasn't... Oh, God, I wasn't ready for that at all. Hoop. You should Damn roll it. through those. There you go. Uh, can you do the other three bars without getting hit once? Oh, boy. Because you were at the one HP. That that move in particular is like a bastard. That, that charge, yeah. Yeah. I mean, now that I have an idea what the fuck is even going on, I wasn't ready for it to be a, like, medley fight. Yeah. Surprise! Why do they have restart battle and continue battle? You can continue it with the, s the health bar reduced. Oh. Nah. Uh, I think that... I am i can't guarantee this because I had to restart... I don't think I continued. I might have continued once on... Um, on Arceus when I finally got to Arceus just to like get it done. But I think yeah. that there's like a quote good ending if you'd like do it with no continues. Whoop. I'd have to Whoop. look shit that up. Okay. Yeah, these are all specifically abilities from the various lords. Like, yeah. Not just like sort of them. They're like definitely the same moves with different colors. Right? How the fuck? I don't know what I'm doing on that. I guess that's just I think a you have to roll one. a little bit later for that to work. We had like meteor effects from the first guy. Uh, I want to say Arcanine had the like ring oh, area of effect, like that it. one. This one was, uh, or was that? I think this might have been Electrode. Oh, is it? Is it specifically borrowing from the? Uh, oh, all right. 
I was gonna say, is it specifically borrowing from the that's Pearl Clan ones? But nope, we're getting more here. That's Avalug. Oh, I guess it is. Would love it if these would clear a little bit here. Nope, not close enough. Whoop! Oh, that was tight. More electrode blasts or whatever it was. I think, I think the rings like that were. Um, uh oh, Arcanine, and that because Electrode had the like area that pulsed for a while, and then uh, he did explode. I forget. Oh, well, that's rude. Oh, was I supposed to? Oh, I was supposed to interrupt it. Oh fuck! Oh Ooh, yeah, there's wow, a few that, that are undodgeable, but you can like stun it by getting the bombs in there, right? Hoop. Nope, not on the right side. Yeah, targeting it is really not a good idea here. I'm, I'm yeah, you have well. to like aim up after you get the quick target in. Yeah. Oh boy! Oh. Oh. Dodging that is always tricky because you're kind of in the middle. Yeah, you have to you have to go in it because yeah. if you go along with it or away from it, it's it, it's just the right pace that you'll get hit. Yeah. All right, I'm feeling a little better about it this time. It's like it's tricky. You have, like not being able to heal at all means that you don't have a great ability to like experiment with techniques without it being like costly. Yes. Oh, a little late. I mean, it's supposed to be a tough battle. Oh, definitely. Right? Like, yep. These are the two. Arguably, according to the things that your characters know in lore, this, this would be it. You'd be done after this. <laughs> you know, we're not going to pay any attention to the six-legged statue that has no body. Yeah, right. Like, oh, there's stuff missing. What's that all about? Oh, fuck. It's definitely not Giratina. Yeah. That's oh, the that's the edge. Yep, arena that's edge. Very subtle. Getting the yep, the right. Avalug type. Too far away. Lines of uh, effect. Right. Nice. There we go. You're into the last quarter now. That's great. Fuck. Never ready for that. Well, to get the bombs in with all of these ground effects, you have to be looking up. Right? Like... So you, like, it's hard to see that one coming. Uh... You're, you're like, there. There we go. I was like, come on. We're there. Gimme, gimme. Oh, I'm not feeling so good. Get in my crystal ball. Oh no, I didn't unclasp it! <laughs> oh, oh no, you nuked it! It's doing red chain magic. Uh, dunk. We get to keep both Dialga and Palkia. I literally didn't even use Dialga in that fight. You didn't even fight in that fight. Yeah. It never even got stunned to have a, yeah, a Pokemon I was, thrown in. I was kind of expecting it to mention that because they were like, alright, Dialga said he'll help you. Dialga couldn't help me in that fight. Right. That oh, was it's very daytime. weird. Yeah, all right. The sky was very red before that instead of the Technicolor Kaleidoscope. I wonder if they just needed you to have Dialga with you. Like, if they gated it that way. Maybe, like yeah. Like, you must have that. Like, without Dialga there, none of this works. Right. All right. She, she caught it. She really did it, didn't she? My eyes aren't lying, right? She actually went and caught it? Yes, oh, good show. What a catch. You contained the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Joanne. Thanks, Sinnoh. Just what I'd expect of my protege. Wow. Mm, yes. <laughs> Ray's suddenly very bold. Yeah, right? Just what I'd expect of my student. <laughs> like, what the fuck? So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that slide whistle him? Oh, okay. Game. He Game. sumo threw them. He sumo threw them, and then they landed 
on their feet exactly where they were standing before. They didn't show any of the action, and now they stood back up. It was just so fast it's that the so human hard eye... to animate human characters. Yeah. They didn't fully rig them. They, you know, it's a lot. It's work. Can't we just like not do that, and then you buy millions of copies anyway? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work, you guys. You should just you should just let us tell you that he threw them with a sumo throw right it's an rpg we can just tell yeah. things to you it made us it made a slide whistle noise because he moved so fast the human eye couldn't have seen it anyway that's just how fast he is he just wants to slide with you Ugh. <laughs> there's no power you know? there is calamity unlike any we have known but we we're able to overcome it wherever i want we what? destroyed ruins <laughs> yeah we destroyed the fuck out of this place festival for us all Gather your clans. It will be the greatest celebration history has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Yes, come down to our team town. Yeah, right. It'll be great. We'll give you blankets. <laughs> I'm sure ancestors will be shocked to see us agree, but this may well be the path toward protecting the space we all share for all time. <laughs> Let us celebrate for today, Dodge, and for all those who live in the Hushman Rosen. ha, 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 ha. We'll start calling it Sino after no one. <laughs> I guess the funniest part of all is like, ah, our god Sino. No, our god Sino. And literally both gods go, you got our name wrong. We are Dialga and Palkia. And their response is, wow, you're right. We did get your names wrong. We're going to name this country after the wrong name we gave you both. Right. And it's not the name of... Either of the other two god legends. Yep. Oh, there we go. Directly to credits. Okay. Dang. I was wondering if we were going to... I guess the festival's probably going to be part of the uh, little credits set of stuff here. Or we're going to do... Okay, this is also very Pokemon. They've been doing this for a long time where you get the snapshots throughout the game. Yep. Maybe we'll get a little a little well, bonus uh, scene at the end of festival happening. A little reminder of all the things that happen. Look at my cape. Ha ha. First uh, credit roll, Rick. Yeah. Yeah. That's our, we, we made it to the end of the main campaign, I suppose. Yeah. There's certainly much more to go. I don't but, know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Even aside from the fact that every Pokemon game has a post-game at this point, there's also, like, not just post-game, but also, like, completion-style post-game that we got to do here. That's yes. fairly unusual for a Pokemon game that you actually need to uh, load up your decks mm -hmm. in order to get there. Yes, you must complete the decks yeah. to do the thing that you were told to do from moment one. Yes. Which is catch all Pokemon and then you can come see me. Yep. I am we're gonna hang out. I gave you a phone. I gave you a phone. I, I actually, you I minutes. took your phone and gave it a case. Yes, I gave it a sweet plastic case. And some apps. And they're really useful. Yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. He's around, you know. Train guy, yeah. He's mostly doing his uh, thing. I'm going to say, I think plan. we saw him. We saw him when we met up when we ga uh, got to Sneezler, Sneezler, and that was kind of it. Yep. Yeah, he's uh, Sneezler's um, person. Is I'm he the warden? Yes. Okay. I can remember if he was a warden or not. Yeah, because the, the, the ride Pokemon have wardens. They just... I think the funniest thing about this is that it implies... The storyline here implies that at some point in the future of Black and White, one of the train guys vanishes and is never heard from again. Yes. And lives the rest of his life 200 years in the past. Yes. Like, that's like weirdly fucking dark. Uh-huh. Like, it, it's it's bad enough that we also got yanked in the past, but like... And it's not a thing that you... It's not like a thing that they dra grabbed from Black and White 2. Yeah, you know, yeah. There's no. They're still there. Yeah, there's no like story beat they're playing off of there. It's just like yeah, that character who's from the present ish of of the mainline games. Yeah, he got yanked into the past. His his brother's never gonna see him again. <laughs> it's like oh, oh, <laughs> well that sucks. Well okay then. If only there were a god of time who could uh, give the guy a hand. Oh uh, no. They're both living their isekai best. They stay at the new land. It seems like, yeah, so isekai as a genre is hot right now. It is, like, everywhere. And yeah, no, it was back to back to back isekais coming out across the different uh, uh, franchises, right? Because we got Kirby isekai. 
Yeah, Kirby got the isekai of Kirby and the, and the Forgotten Land. The Mario movie is an isekai. Yeah, which granted, the Mario franchise has always been kind of an isekai. Right. Ultimately. I suppose the origin story always is. Had Mario some falls step into of a, like a Brooklyn plumber yeah. falls to Mushroom Kingdom. If we're being technical, the games have never really gone there exactly because Mario is born to that world as, as per Yoshi's Island. Okay, but true. In every other version of these, from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show to Super Mario Brothers to the Super Mario Brothers movie, yep, all of the literally all three of those uh, uh, highlight that. The Mario Brothers are plumbers in New York, and they went to the Mushroom Kingdom. Sonic kind of... I guess Sonic doesn't really have an isekai with his. It there certainly it is. feels like the it. The festival. Hey, nice. The clans intermingling in that cartoony... Whoop. I didn't hit that. Still. It just did it itself. Dark phone is beeping. Reminder, you got shit to do. Seek out all Pokemon. You know, the thing it beeped at you the first minute of the game. Yep. Oh, and we're just awake. Okay. Palkia, number one. Uh, Cot, one. Yep. Oh, oh, it, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just bonked Goji in the head. Is the counterpart still our... Okay, there we go. Is, like, is our counterpart... Is the counterpart still our main mission? But I guess not. Well, why don't we save right here? And when we come back next time, we will begin the, the dawn next of chapter. A new day. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.